Hello everybody, Tommy Ruin here, and as you may be aware, love is in the air. Yes, that's right, the Valentine's event is in full swing in the world of Warcraft. In fact, it's just about to come to a close. But one thing which you may not know about this event is that in Ascension, there is a custom boss for this event. Professor Slate, the Potion Master. You can find the custom boss on Kaya Darrow, the island that Skolomance is housed. And as you go up to the gates, you'll see the large arch that is surrounded by hearts, which is very contrasting to the rest of the Skolomance look, which is all gloomy and doomy. And you'll be greeted by the heralds outside, and they will be telling you that there is a solution to your lack of love inside. And as you venture in, you will see there are lots of people testing out potions that are on tables and these potions are supposedly there to get you all the girls in the world and i mean they've pretty much got deodorant style advertising going on there no longer shall maiden spurn the very sight of you but the people who are there trying it don't seem too impressed with the taste or smell of the potions which they're being given which makes me wonder who the hell is making them and if you turn your back and look up on the ledge you will see professor slate himself now, if you didn't know already, Professor Slate was one of the Barovs, which was the house of people who owned Skolomance before they turned it over to Kel'Thuzad. And he was, in fact, a boss within Skolomance. Uh, he was the Potions Master. And it seems that he seems to have got a bit too big for his britches and is now working directly for Kel'Thuzad, supplying love potions to everyone. When you talk to Professor Slate, there is a bit of dialogue where he explains that he is world famous across Azeroth and he wants you to try his famous potion, the love potion, and he's saying how he's set them up for free and you've got nothing to lose and so much to gain, he says. And apparently you've worked out that everything isn't quite as it seems and you've cottoned on to the fact that he is in fact supplying everyone with the potion of undeath or the plague of undeath. When you talk to him, the event starts and you can see that all of the people down in the crowd are dying and they're being turned into zombies. The dialogue for this event was really well written and I thought it was quite cool how well structured the RP was. I mean, it made, made sense in a lore point of view and to see all these people replying to what he's saying and getting outraged at the potion which he's made was something really cool to see. It was a nice RP event to behold. He then goes on to say about how their souls are trapped here forever to repeat the process every year, which kind of makes sense. Um, it means every year during the Valentine's event, this boss is going to be here, which is something very awesome. Having events which come around once a year gives you something which you can get excited about, and I for one really like that. He then goes on to mention that his master, Kel'Thuzad, was very pleased with how the potion's results went down, and as we all know, Kel'Thuzad is the big bad that is at the end of Naxxramas. After a long old spiel, he then jumps down and transforms into Professor Slate, the one that we know inside Skolomance. And this is the raid boss which you're going to be fighting. He has scaled up to level 60 and he has a lot of health. And because it was just me on my own, I was never going to stand a chance. But a few mechanics for this boss which you're going to have to look out for. You've got all these zombies running around that if you go near them or stand in the smoke which they leave behind, or the poison I should say, that does damage to you and the damage is really high as I'll show later. He also jumps around and he throws toxic bombs down onto the players that are down below and this jumping and this toxic bomb throwing is really cool. It's a nice mechanic that you don't really get in vanilla bosses so having something like this added to the game is something very fresh. And especially just having new boss fights as well. Something very fresh and unique. So as you can see, the zombies which run around during the boss fight, they do a lot of damage if you get in their way or in the path which they have left. They do a lot of damage and that's something which you're going to have to avoid. And as you'll be able to see as I resurrect here, I, I'm looking around for the boss because I can't see where he's jumped to. And whilst looking around for him, I get bombarded by these toxic barrels and I just get killed instantly where I stand. And this is a great mechanic for getting people to move around and to be aware of their surroundings and where the boss is. I don't actually know how you get the boss down from his aerial phase. I'm not sure if it's just timed or you have to range him, but it'll be an interesting boss fight to see with a full raid group. I'm not sure if any did actually clear him during the window, but it'll be exciting to see how he gets taken down next year during the Valentine's event. 
Overall, I think it's great that they're making these custom bosses that are Blizz-like and have unique and interesting tactics and mechanisms. I think it's something great to see and it really bodes well for the future of Ascension. If you have any questions about the event, about Ascension or about anything else, leave them down in the comments section. If you like this video, hit that subscribe button and leave a like. But that's all from me. Thank you for watching and I will see you all very soon.